please open the subtitles in the settings and automatically translate. Temporarily remove the cable cover. T-shaped fixing clip, applicable to all models of Sculptfun and almost all V-slot structure engraving machines. Another type of fixation clamp can jump to 2 minutes and 36 seconds. Use longer round head screws. Place the screw lock block according to the position of the screw hole, and this grain side of the screw faces outwards. Slide to find the corresponding screw hole. There's no need to tighten it for now, we still need to adjust the position. When you finish this step, you can jump to 3 minutes and 26 seconds. U-shaped fixing clip, suitable for U-shaped beam machines such as X-Tool. Connect the camera USB to the computer. The laser engraving machine must have a limit switch and ensure that the limit function is turned on. After modification, write first and then save. Make sure start from is absolute chords and then reset laser. After activating the limit switch, it is best for us to confirm whether the working area is correct. Ensure that the maximum area of use does not collide with the engraving machine frame. Now we need to find the center of the work plane and try to align the camera with its center as much as possible. Be careful not to move the coordinates of the laser during focusing, otherwise it is best to reset laser again. Engrave a mark in the center of the workbench. The camera cannot be used with two software at the same time. Turn off Lightburn and find the system camera. Turn on the cross line in the viewfinder grid in the settings. The video screen is overexposed. Enable advanced controls to set the exposure level. 
adjust the approximate alignment mark of the camera center according to the reference line. The camera is aligned to the center of the work area now. Now we need to adjust the height of the camera to align the focus of the camera with the work platform. It is recommended that the height from camera to work plane is 325 mm to 335 mm. Cover the cable gland back that was removed before. The camera cannot be used with two software at the same time. Turn off the system camera, open Lightburn, let's start to calibrate camera lens. This step is to correct the distortion of the lens. Camera 500. Standard lens. Preset to use none. Next. According to the prompts, place the dot cards as required. The correct placement of dot cards is very helpful for improving accuracy. I need to use the edges of the honeycomb board to help me place the dot cards. Adjust the position of the honeycomb board so that its bottom edge coincides with the x-axis coordinate of the engraving machine. Push the x-axis back to avoid obstructing the view of camera. Place the dot card, ensure it's flat, and the edges are parallel to the work plane. Return to this page. After completing the placement, capture the image. Capture failed. Close this button and try again. The paper display should be clear, I need to block the light reflection to make the results more accurate. Adjust the position of the dot card to be in the center and the edge parallel to the workbench. Next position. Move the dot card close to the bottom edge of the honeycomb board. Next. Close to the left edge. The distortion of the four corners are very large now, so don't skip it. Close to the bottom right corner of the honeycomb panel. The correct position is more important than the score, so it doesn't matter if the score is higher than 0.3. Click Finish to end calibration. Reset the laser, prepare to align the camera to the work plane. Calibrate camera alignment. Over the work area. Camera 500. Next. According to the tip at the top, we need to engrave this drawing. First we need to determine the size of the drawing. The drawing size is slightly smaller than the maximum working plane, and different scale represent different sizes. I want to set the drawing size to 350 by 350, so I should enter 175. Place the wooden board to ensure that the four corner markings can be engraved on the board. Be careful not to move the laser, otherwise it needs to be reset again. Set the engraving parameters. My laser is 10 watt. If your laser power is different from mine, you need to set it yourself. No need to set the material thickness. Preview the frame to ensure that the four corners can be engraved on the wooden board. Start engraving. Next. If the cable and trachea block the view, you can move the x-axis to another position, but do not use your hands. According to the prompt at the top, double-click the center of the marks 1, 2, 3, and 4 in sequence. You can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out on the screen. Double-click can mark, double-click the area next to it can modify. Next. Now all the preparation work has been completed, let's try the accuracy. Open camera control in window. 
you can drag it to the desired position. Reselect the camera and the screen size can be in a correct size. Update overlay can refresh images within the working range. Trace can extract contour edges in the image as vector shapes. You can box select the range of edges you want to extract. Drag the slider to adjust the selection range. Now you have the shape, which can be used for engraving or cutting. Now let's do the test. The overlay will automatically update after tracking. Remember to delete excess shapes before starting. Go to the next position and track the corresponding arrow. Use this positioning button to move the laser without disturbing the coordinates. The test is over, let's see how it works. I am very satisfied with this result. If you think your test results are not ideal, you may need to redo the calibrate camera lens. First reset the laser, then use the positioning button to move the x-axis to the top. Place the wooden board, even if it is slightly inclined, it doesn't matter. Update overlay. Import drawing. Set the appropriate size based on the size of the wooden board. Turn off the output of the drawing to make it semi-transparent. Rotate the drawing to align one side edge. Adjusting and moving drawings to ensure that the image does not exceed the edge. Open the output and set the parameters to start engraving. Turn off camera usage in Lightburn. You can use the system camera or other software to record. Switch to video mode, adjust brightness, and start recording. Back to Lightburn and start engraving. The system camera has a maximum recording time limit, and it cannot change the frame rate, so the recorded file is large. It is recommended to use OBS for recording. OBS is free. You can modify the frame rate to 2 FPS per second. The recorded files will be smaller. Support the maximum screen size is 2592 times 1944. Using 2 FPS, video files will be smaller. The screen is incomplete and needs to be set. Set the canvas resolution to be consistent with the camera, and the multiplication sign can be replaced by an X. In order to facilitate the editing software to accelerate the video, it is best to change the format to MP4 format. Now you can start recording. The camera can only align with one plane, and it cannot detect the height of the object. It is now aligned to a height of 3 mm at the top of the honeycomb panel. If the surface of the material is close to the aligned height, then accuracy can be guaranteed. But if the material is too high or too low, then accuracy will produce errors. You can eliminate errors by recalibrating camera alignment. Of course, placing the workpiece in the middle position can also reduce errors. But this is only suitable for smaller workpieces.
You can lock the motor, which can avoid the change of coordinates, and reduce the times of resetting the laser. Restarting the engraving machine, setting will take effect. Now the motor has been locked. You can set the end position of the laser after engraving, which is not only convenient for you to pick up and place the workpiece, but also does not obstruct the view of camera.